What's going on guys? Today we are going for Lake Trot off the boat. I'm here with Richie and Paul Sauer. We're gonna get out there and jig off the bottom in about 30 to 50 feet. Are we gonna get it, Paul? We are gonna get him. Yep. Yes. Good luck, gentlemen. Hope we have an explosive episode for you. See you later. Guys, we've arrived. We're gonna fish between 40 and 80 feet of water. What you're looking for is for those humps, right, Paul? Yeah. And those, it's gonna get I'm too close to shore. Those humps, they will be on each end, you guys, right there, waiting at the drop-offs, and that's what you're targeting. Yeah, it's a big flat. It's a big flat too, so they're gonna just be cruising around back and forth. We're gonna attack now with these two jigs, and I'm gonna go chartreuse. Look at the fish. All right, guys, so we found a hump. There's that hump. Look at all those fish right there. Either mint column suspended or on the bottom. So what yeah. you're going to want to do is just fish throughout the column. Yeah. 26 feet to 40 to 80, just like that. There, oh. there. Look at them all. There's more than one right there. Right. See how they're all lined up down there? Yeah. That's good. There we go, first drop. Are they on the bottom mostly? Yeah. Jig jig drop. Should do the trick. A little jig jig drop. It's really shallow here. Guys, freezing already. Man, Paul's getting major hits over here. How does it feel, Paul? Aggressive? That last bite was hard. The other ones where I just lifted and I had weight. You just had a bite too? We are out of our form, guys. We're not used to send hooks on Lakers this early. <laughs> yeah, they're thick and, and they're between 30 and 40. Dang it. There's another bite. There he is. Guys. There he is. We got him. Fish we on. got him. Fish. How's he feeling? Feels pretty good, dude. Pretty good. All right. All right. All right. Uh, now, what are we using, Paul? Uh, two jig. I two got jig. Two jig. Nah, he's not very big. Trust the old tube. Not the biggest, guys, but they're going to get bigger. Mm, first fish. Wow. Nice. There you go. Well, guys, I'm back to the trusty old tube jig here in Chartreuse. See how I fare. There we go. Ooh, I ate some sucker meat on accident. Not the best fish, fellas. Not the best fish. Okay, let's drop it down. Ah, beautiful mist coming off that water. Very gorgeous. If you guys are asking why the steam comes over the water, it's because that water is about 50 degrees and the air temp is about 15 so that's what happens the bite has actually been pretty good guys i just haven't caught one but uh but they're definitely aggressively hitting i'm just bouncing the tip right off the bottom just barely bouncing off the bottom trying to create some commotion trying to attract them in and we got one gentlemen yeah feels decent Yep, feels decent. We might have gotten a nice little 20 incher. Yeah, oh yeah. Nice. Can I get a net? Thank you. Yeah, not a bad fish, guys. Not a bad, not a bad eater. We're not gonna eat him, but not a bad eater. Well, that's a bad netting job, mates. All right. Check that out, guys. What a nice fish. Look at those teeth. Woo! There he goes. Guys, we're all off the board here. Paul's got one. Richie's got one. I got one. So, tube jigs are the, uh, uh it's not, no surprise, guys. Tube jigs are the best <laughs> this morning. Oh my God, I got Another? All right, guys, here. I'll net it. I'll net it, Paul. Oh, I snagged it. 
Uh, that's okay. Bring him over here so we don't. Oh, he is. Look at the belly. It's full of eggs. Yes, he is full of eggs. That is our mother, guys. We're gonna show you what we mean. All right, guys. Let, let me show the belly. Look at that belly, guys. That that's a pregnant lake fish. So we're gonna let her go. She unfortunately got sad. Look at her face. Looks like someone punched her in it. <laughs> Oh, I missed. Yeah, I had a. Oh, he feels heavy too, dude. Who's got the net this time? I, I could get it. It's right there. I got the handle. Yeah. Oh, he's taking line. This one's taking line. Maybe, maybe 20 inches, 20, 22? I don't know. Hopefully. Let me help you with that net. You play him. I got gotcha. you. There you go. Oh, Battery battery. Got it. Let me see. Something is up with the camera. Look at those spawning colors. That is beautiful. <clears throat> look at the colors on that. Yeah, look at that. Almost looks like a brook. Yeah. Ooh, all right. It's warming up a lot, which is good. I can't feel my feet. In October time out of here, uh, you want to wear some ice fishing clothes already because it's 13 degrees in the morning. I've been doing all kinds of jigging, but I've been getting hits I've noticed on the little tabs on the bottom. So I just jig about two, three, four times. Let it drop. And right there, right when I actually lift after it hits the bottom is when I get a bite. I think Paul's kind of the same way. Another great method is I reel it about halfway and then I jig it and then I drop it and then jig it and drop it and then open the reel and let it go down. Until it hits the bottom, then I jig a few times. Just anything you can do to, uh, they just gotta tap. Just had a nice little bite off the bottom there. We got him. We got him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't feel too big. Oh, that's actually not bad. Perfect either size. I like to get them out pretty quick. Don't exhaust them too much since they're pregnant. This might be a male. It's a little female. Take it easy on them. Don't try to squeeze their stomach too much. There it is. <laughs> they're back down again. You want to come out and fish before the sun comes up. It's a good time to actually get on one of the best bites because when the sun comes over the lake too much and exposes too much sunlight they kind of tend to slow down so best time to launch out here is by 6 30 7 a.m probably the best bite is until 10 but they are spawning in the month of october so the spawn makes them hungry all day generally they've been hitting it right off the little subtle jigs i have when i bounce it off the bottom and then the moment i start lifting it up a little bit is when they've uh they've actually hit it when it's getting away from them Got one? All right, Paul. Still an impressive fish. Let's get him in the net. Whoa. He is not happy. All right. That was a grub. Nice. I knew that would produce. Oh, yeah, the fuzzy grub will do the trick. They love that little fuzzy tail, I've noticed. Sun's out. I bet it's still only. Still getting nice like crazy on my rod. Oh, AJ got one. Wow. We got a good one, I think. If I didn't snag, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bigger G. Thank you, Richie. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. All right. This, these beanies and shit need to be on my head anymore. All right, guys. Guys got something decent. Hopefully, it doesn't snag it. Man, they look like tuna down there. All right, not too big. Still the average eating size. They are the slimiest species. Of trout. Let's go. It's 
time for midday update. We're all probably about 15 fish in. We're using two jigs, swim baits, and some spoons. Have been working really well for Paul. We're catching these fish in about 20 to 30 feet of water. They are hiking the bottom. Some are suspended, but it's been a phenomenal morning. The bite has slowed down, right? Yeah, it they, has, but they're on the fish finder. They're, they're still sure. on the fish finder. So stay tuned, and hopefully we have a good rest of the uh, rest of the day. Right. What are we looking at when you use a rod out here? What do you want to use in open water off the boat usually? What kind of rod? Got a medium fast. Medium fast, and okay. And I just got a medium, guys. And uh, we've been sitting in the hook. And what do you have, medium fast? Mm -hmm. Yeah, with that swim bait, that's probably what does the trick. Because you want to be able to feel that tip, right? You don't want to have yeah. a broom at the tip. I mean, that's good too if you're ice fishing, but... Let's see. Let's see if you like something a little bigger. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Got a decent one, guys. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, yes. Yes. We're going to measure this one. Yes, yes, yes. Let's let him go. Kaboom. Got some suspended fish here. Usually suspended fish means they're in the mood. So if your line goes like that, and if it ever stops... Don't hesitate to set the hook. Now that's a thick school. Right there in 36 feet. We're bouncing it off the bottom. There's a too. All right, guys. If all else fails, you go to the classic glow-in-dark tube jig. Tip with some sucker meat when I bite it slow. I forgot what it feels like to catch a fish, guys. Should we move, Paul, to another area maybe where they're more feisty? Got him. Yeah. Right on that glow in the dark tube on my fast action. Oh, I got a good fish. I need a net. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Oh, I lost oh. it. Oh, you got it. You know what? Yes. I've got I've done that more than once on this boat. Oh this man. Look at that. What a beaut. 18 and a quarter, you think? Not this one. 19 and a quarter. 19 and a quarter, guys. Hands down, man. Always comes through with the classic glowing dark. Three inch tubes. 3.75. Oh man, is there even fish here? Holy shit. 17 feet. Oh, it must be a hump. I got a fish. I got a fish. I got a fish. Small one. But a fish. Yeah, right in 17, guys. Right in 17. Nothing big. Nothing big. Nothing big. But. But a fish. Oh, I'm making a little catfish sound. Oh, yeah. This one's full drag. All right, you got a good one then? I think so. All right. All right, he's got a good fish here. Good fish. Just keep pressure on it. Oh yeah, he's got a good fish. He's got a good fish. Bring it up, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Yeah. He's got a good fish. What's going on guys? It is about that time of the day. The winds are getting so bad that we're getting tossed left and right. There's Richie back there. He caught one since we moved to the spot. Paul's having a rough time. We're all actually having a rough time uh, to close the day out, but we sure as heck caught many fish throughout the day. It's been a very exciting one. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Until next time.